Hello friends and potential friends. Well, there's the patient's garden over there. But I've got something else in mind this morning. You see, I decided to grow some kohlrabi this year. I've never grown it before. Heck, I've never even eaten it before. And until a, maybe a year or two ago, I'd never even heard of it. But I decided to plant some last year. And I've got one here. It looks like it's about ready to come out of here. Good size bulb under there. Lots of leaves. So I'm going to get hacking. Start with the harvest. That's an interesting plant. I think I saw something like this in one of the movies I watched not long ago. Monsters Inc. Yep, that looks like it would fit right in. That's a pretty good size bulb, about four, four and a half inches across to the thickest part. Lots of nice leaves, I understand the leaves are edible, so they'll probably be going into the next batch of mixed greens that I cook, or can. Maybe cook and can, who knows. But that is a pretty good size fruit. Vegetable, fruit, I don't know, what is it? Looks like an alien to me. But anyway, a few of these lower leaves off of here. They can go back into the garden. And then we'll take the rest of it in the house and see what I can turn it into. So let's pick it up inside. Okay, we're in the kitchen now. I guess you could call this my other lab. A lot of experiments take place in here. But I just need to get these leaves off of this kohlrabi. And I'll be freezing the leaves and putting them into the next canning greens I do probably maybe I'll cook some up and see taste them too hmm. not bad kind of like a radish only pretty mild Pretty much just peel right off. Needless to say, I've been looking at a few videos on how to prepare one of these things. Seems that most people like to roast them. And I'm not that big into roasting. I saw a few people that um, cut them up and put them into stir fries. I do know I need to peel this thing. So let me get prepared for that. There's a place to put peels. Now, how do you approach something like this? The base of it is pretty woody. And I know that's not something I'm going to want to be chewing on. 
get out the big boys here. See how far I have to go to get down to something that I might be able to eat. Agrees, you got to peel these things. So I'm going to listen to everybody. Does not peel easily. into the oh either the compost pile or the worm bin Hmm. Well, tastes pretty good. Raw. Almost like a almost like a radish. Just slice it up and put it in the air fryer. That's what I've been doing with a lot of my radishes and turnips lately. And this seems to be pretty similar to those, so. I'm going to treat it the same way. So let me get out the air fryer and get that situated and then we'll come back. Okay, put two slices of the kohlrabi in the air fryer along with the pork chop with some of peanut peppers uh, spice mix and we're going to go into the fryer for about 20 minutes. I find that uh, selecting the french fry option seems to be about the right time for my pork chops and radishes and turnips so we'll see what it does with the kohlrabi. Okay there we are after 22 minutes in the air fryer. Let's get this on the plate and see what we got. Okay there we are. Kohlrabi, pork chop, and I pulled some of my collards out of the pantry mainly because these are from 2019 last year I put put up 48 more pints of greens and that's the greens I got from that one plant so obviously I'm going to be canning more greens at some point so I need to start eating them faster but today it's the kohlrabi. Does have a nice flavor to it. Still a little bit chewy. I may have to work on that a little bit. But overall, that's pretty good. 
and I know these are good. So, there we have it. Simple and direct. If you have a favorite kohlrabi recipe or way of preparing it, I'd sure be happy to hear about it because looks to me like I'm going to be growing this stuff again. And until then, I'll see you on the next video.